The one last few mornings, Patrick, it is cool out yeah. there. It's not going to be as cold this morning, but this afternoon will feel a little bit chillier because the winds are going to be gusting a little stronger. And our leading weather headlines is talking about that uh, wind chill factor as we uh, take a look at our conditions through the day today. Chilly winds going to be persisting in the afternoon with northwest gusts to 20 miles per hour. That's going to create wind chills in the 20s. The dry stretch continues at least into the afternoon on Friday. Then by Friday evening and night, we'll start to see some drizzle. And that's That'll lead us to some rainfall on Saturday. Our computer models still saying about a half an inch to an inch of rain, the steadiest of it early in the day on Saturday. And then we're going to keep an eye on Sunday and Monday, and I'll show you what I'm tracking. Our temperature difference this morning, it's noticeable. We're running almost 10 degrees warmer in Smithfield, 12 in Providence, 18 degrees warmer in Taunton. That puts us up into the uh, upper 20s and low 30s, most locations. Now the skies are clearing out. We'll start to see those numbers dropping some. And that's already happened in Hartford and Willimantic. You're down into the mid 20s there, Smithfield as well at 26. So I do expect Providence, Newport, New Bedford all to fall into the 20s here over the next hour or two ahead of our sunrise. So about 28 degrees, getting the kids ready for the bus stop today. Brisk and chilly in the afternoon, highs in the mid to upper 30s. Our North Situate camera still clearing out the clouds this morning. Dry roadways and looking good in Providence. Our live Doppler radar. Uh, things have uh, quieted down in Rhode Island, had a couple of flurries during the earlier part of the night. You can see those snow showers in southeastern Massachusetts, 11, 12 o'clock at night, now pushing more to the south and east. And the Cape could end up with some small accumulations here with uh, looking at a coating to maybe an inch or so. Most of that activity stays out over the outer Cape. Our 3 o'clock forecast showing the sunny skies for most areas. Now watch what happens overnight. Clouds rolling in, and I do expect tomorrow to be a cloudier day than today. Here's what's happening. Let's take a look at the wider view. One little shot of cold air coming our way from this upper level uh, disturbance that'll be pushing to the east over the course of the morning. Second one's back here to the west of us over the Great Lakes. This one will race across the northeast and pass far enough to our west that any snow showers or flurries should stay from New York City and points west. So I don't expect it around here tomorrow uh, during the day, but I do think we'll get some of the extra clouds from it. Your commute into work this morning again, not quite as chilly. You'll still want your gloves and sunglasses in the afternoon will be a few degrees cooler than yesterday and those brisk winds will add to that cool feel. So between 30 and 35 degrees in Situate and Johnston East Providence and we'll be into the low and mid 30s in New Bedford Fall River and some spots getting up to as high as 36 or 37 degrees for your evening hours clearing out those clouds temperatures dropping. It'll be a colder night tonight by 11 o'clock. We're down to 21 degrees. That's about 10 degrees colder than at that time yesterday morning. That time last night, I should say. All right, we're talking about the weekend. So we've got one wave of low pressure that'll bring us rain during the daytime on Saturday. That moves out, and then our computer model is trying to develop a second storm for the end of the weekend and into early Monday. Now, this is the European model, and you can see the track of it has most of the activity far enough to the east that we're spared any significant impacts, but it is something that we'll have to watch in that uh, Sunday Monday time frame. If it tracks a little bit closer to us, we could keep some rain around into Sunday and Monday. Temperatures under uh, on Wednesdays, highs in the mid to upper 30s. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy skies. Cold start in the morning, dropping down into the teens to lower 20s. Afternoon highs only in the low to mid 30s. Friday's high near 45. And on Saturday, again, looking at about a half an inch to an inch of rain. Most of that falling in the first half of the day. You can get the full forecast on WPR.